Hi everyone, welcome to our very first pixel art vlog video. Today I'll be going through the process of creating our channel's logo. Sorry if it sounds like I'm whispering, it's because I am. It's pretty late, I don't want to disturb my roommates. So, the backstory behind our logo is my boyfriend William, his dogs are named Bean and Bun, and we love those dogs. So we just decided to name our, I guess, video game company after them. I don't want to make the logo a picture of them because I want it to be more, I guess, creative. So I decided to make it a bean and a bun because I really love coffee and buns. I'm a bit excited to use PixArt for a game because I think it's a really nice art form. You don't have to be super precise, just like all art forms, but it's just really fun to do. I think PixArt is pretty hard at first. It definitely takes some getting used to. I watched a couple of Pixel Pete's videos that William sent to me and they're really helpful so I really recommend that if you're just getting started with PixArt. was making the coffee bean, I really did not think it looked like a coffee bean. I was really struggling with it. But something I learned is that if your pixel art looks weird, just save it and then exit out and come back to it in maybe an hour or two hours or even the next day and it'll look It'll look like what you wanted it to look like because I think our eyes just get used to it being pixels. So we have to like take a break and it'll all be fine. So yeah, I definitely do take breaks in between my pixel arts. And when in doubt, I just put shadows where our shadows are supposed to be and Highlights where highlights are supposed to be. It honestly helps a lot if it, like, without the highlight on the coffee bean, it would look really bad. But if you just place it where you think it should be placed, then it works out. I don't know, it's just something I do. And now we're on to making the bun. I really, really love buns, especially the ones with the custard inside. I always get those from Ranch 99. I actually have two packs in my freezer right now. I really recommend those. I didn't want the bun to just look like a blob, so I also added little details on the edges, little shadows. It just provides more, I guess, depth. And here I made the bun blushing. I originally wanted those blush marks to be the eyes, but I feel like it didn't match well with the coffee bean. It just didn't look good. So I decided to add other eyes. It was so hard deciding on what eyes or like what eye style to use for the bun because there are so many cute out eye styles so it took me a while but I finally settled on one that's similar to the minecraft or the bees from minecraft because I think those are really cute
for the coffee bean, I decided to change its colors because it was looking way too bold next to the more mellowed out bun. So I made it more cool toned because it was really warm toned before. So now the coffee bean and the bun mesh really well together. So yeah, here's our logo for the channel. I hope you guys like it, because I really love it, and William does too. I hope you guys like the video, and I hope you all have a good day. Bye!